in this lecture we are going to discuss the measurement of blood volume now measurement of the blood volume through this equation is quite simple so far we have uh, discussed the measurement of extracellular fluid measurement of intracellular fluid measurement of plasma measurement of interstitial fluid and we have discussed in detail in the previous few lectures the in indicator dilution method through, it, uh, through which we measure the different uh, um, fluid compartments in the body now that equation is going to be helpful in the measurement of blood volume as well now the total blood volume is basically calculated easily with the help of this equation which is basically plasma volume by 1 minus hematocrit but we need the, uh, the 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 value of blood plasma what is the value of blood plasma or what is the amount of blood plasma uh, plasma similarly we need to know the the hematocrit now for the hematocrit uh, we have discussed in detail that if we take a sample of the blood in a, in a test tube and we centrifuge it the the red blood cell will settle down the red blood cell will settle down and the plasma will be separated now the amount of space that is occupied by these red blood cells which is basically the pcv the packed cell volume packed cell volume is normally around 0.4 it is around 0.4 now if we put the value 0.4 here and we put the 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 value of plasma volume we can easily calculate the blood uh, volume the total blood volume now we get hematocrit by taking a sample of the uh, blood a small sample is sufficient to give us the value of hematocrit but that's a, that small uh, sample is not sufficient to give us the uh, the plasma volume now how we can basically get the the value of plasma volume or what is basically the amount of plasma in the blood now we discussed this thing with the help of indicator dilution method and what indicator dilution method states is this is something which we discussed previously in detail in the last few lectures uh, this uh, indicator dilution method states that if we take an indicator and we uh, its mass is basically mass a which is basically the product of volume into its concentration and we call it volume a into concentration a we put this indicator we put this indicator into the we put this indicator direct into the fluid which we want to measure the volume of which we want to measure now we injected it and then we can calculate its concentration again initially we know its volume its concentration its mass but when we inject it into this fluid we calculate it its concentration again but its mass before injecting and its mass inside this volume remains the same and this is basically the law of conservation of mass so indicator mass a is basically equal to indicator mass b the indicator mass b is you know, the the mass of indicator after it has been injected into this fluid now we want to basically calculate the the volume of this uh, fluid so we basically know that the mass again is basically equal to the product of volume and concentration but here we have given the name b to this thing so mass b is basically the product of volume b into concentration b we basically need the volume b so we shuffle the equation a we want the volume b and volume b is basically mass by concentration a now mass a is basically equal to mass b so instead of mass b we write mass a and mass a is the product of volume and concentration so we derive we put this value in this equation and we der derive this equation and with the help of this equation we can calculate we can determine or we can measure the volume of any fluid compartment now while using this uh, indicator we can measure the the total body of fluid while using the indicators like radioactive water heavy water and antipyrin these indicators distribute evenly in all the fluids of the human body the plasma interstitial fluid and the intracellular fluid then if we want to measure the extracellular fluid we need special indicators like radioactive sodium radioactive chloride radioactive iothelamate and inulin this indicator only distributes in the plasma and extracellular fluid extra plasma and extracellular fluid it will not distribute in the uh, intracellular fluid and it has been shown in this diagram as well that it is distributed in the plasma and interstitial fluid and it is not entering the cells now this these indicators so depending upon the indicator we can measure different volumes of fluid in the body so by using radioactive water radioactive uh, radioactive heavy water and antipyrin we can measure the total body volume and with the help of this equation now with the help of sodium chloride radioactive sodium radioactive chloride radioactive iothelamate inulin and by using this equation we can calculate the extracellular fluid volume and by shuffling the equations by uh, when we minus the extracellular fluid from the total body water we can calculate the intracellular fluid as well but if we use another indicator like uh, red, uh, radio iodine uh, radioactive iodine labeled albumin or evans blue which only distributes in the plasma which only distributes in the plasma so here this indicator distributed throughout the body water here this indicator these indicators basically distributed in the extracellular fluid in the plasma and in the interstitial fluid but this indicator it only distributes in the plasma it only distributes in the plasma and you see here it is present only in the plasma it is not going into the interstitial fluid now with the help of these indicators we have calculated we have calculated the volume of plasma to be 
three letters. We have calculated it to be three letters. So three by one minus zero point four is around five liter of blood. Now to to exactly um, understand the how with the help of uh, the indicator dilution method how we determine how we measure the the plasma volume you should watch the previous uh, lectures which in which we have discussed everything in detail now we we have the uh, value of uh, hematocrit and we have the value of plasma and by putting it into this equation this simple equation we can determine the blood volume as a whole another method is another method is by using radioactive radioactive chromium radioactive chromium is we use different radioactive substances like radioactive water, heavy water, antipyrene, or like uh, radioactive sodium, radioactive chloride for diff uh, for this extracellular fluid, and similarly radioactive iodine labeled albumin for the plasma. Similarly, you can use the radioactive chromium labeled RBCs. Radioactive chromium labeled RBCs. These RBCs are uh, basically injected into the blood. These are injected into the blood, and when they basically distribute, when they basically distribute. For example, uh, this radioactive iodine, uh, radioactive chromium labeled red blood cells, radioactive chromium labeled red blood cells, when they are, for example, injected and they have distributed in themselves in a compartment, in for example, in uh, they have distributed themselves in the plasma here only. Then, when we apply the indicator dilution method, then when we apply this equation, the indicator dilution method, we apply the indicator dilution method, we can determine the the volume of blood as well. So. To summarize, we can uh, we can uh, we can calculate the, the the blood volume directly with the help of this equation. But in this equation, we can determine the hematocrit from the lab, and we can we can determine the plasma volume with the help of indicator dilution method by using special special indicators. Then another thing is another method to determine the uh, blood volume is by using radioactive chromium labeled red blood cells and allow these uh, RBCs to circulate and then determining it, their concentration and then using again the indicator dilution method then using again this equation the equation which we have discussed in detail again and again and again in our last few lectures then with the help of this equation we can determine the uh, blood volume so these are basically two different methods and both are very easy methods to determine the uh, blood volume thanks a lot for watching the video